You know how some days just don't quite go as planned? Hi, I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family's been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. We hook up 450 to the 70 foot drill and figure out if our couplers are fixed. That sure feels a lot more solid. What about that? That one feels solid. All right, hook up our case strings and give her a shot, huh? Yeah. Hey, uh, you're on the downwind side this time, not me. At least it's not blowing 20 mile an hour today. So these case strings, normally a coupler has a check valve end in there so they don't leak like that. Well these ones, they do not want those check valves in there because if a hose for some reason comes disconnected and it deadheads that case string, you'll blow cylinders apart and all kinds of different things in these drills because every opener has its own hydraulic cylinder so there's no extra pressure to bleed off anywhere, that's a bad deal. So now, moment of truth. Will our couple stay connected or will they pop out again? So far so good. Oh, switch four the other way. Well, now turn your fans on. Yeah, you your monitor, they count in RPMs. Go the other way with number two. There you go. I think we got it fixed. Well, there goes Dad and Colin heading to Wolf Point with the last loads of derm that we needed to move to make room for the fertilizer. And then they're going to head up to Scobie and pick up some new uh, variety of peas we're going to plant this year. Well, I got the tractor and the conveyor set up on the first fertilizer bin. They're going to bring four loads of put in this bin, four loads of put in the other bin, and that should be enough to do most of the canola around here. This drill, I'm going to see if I can't get all the meters working. We got to get the sectional control figured out. Uh, it does have air cylinders. This engages a sprocket that will shut off the seed that goes through the tubes to the drill. So I need to check all the air lines. They rot out in the sun. One of the many disadvantages of not being able to put these drills in the shed for the winter or the off season in general, summer, heat, sun, hard on these hard plastic lines. So we'll start up here, start uh, checking out broken lines, listening for air leaks, get that all fixed and replaced. We carry some a bunch of black oats. The black doesn't eat up by the sun. So I'll start with that. I gotta go turn the monitor on and get the air compressor running in so we know which ones are leaking. Fertilizer load just got here. Well, this is our canola blend for fertilizer. There's nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, chloride, 
and zinc. The blue coating on everything is a zinc that's evenly added to it. It's a liquid they put on it. Yeah, sounds like a few leaks to fix. Well, here's one of the bad parts. So pulling the new black line through that, we'll replace that and then inspect any other ones. I think this is the only one that's leaking actually. And the other fertilizer trucks here. So these are their tender trailers they normally bring product to the field with. So we got a little drop on here. So they didn't take the bottom conveyors off this trailer. See how it works. Well, I got all the meters working, all the air leaks fixed. Got the hydraulics running. We're gonna see what kind of shape this conveyor is in. openers today on the trail on 70 foot getting that all ready to go we've got four more loads of fertilizer delivered today so both our bins have 100 ton in each and now i got another load of hay to go load up we're down to after this we'll have two loads left to load out and uh so i'm gonna pick up the spray trailer and move our other drop deck out of the way too but you thought that windshield in the teal truck was bad check out the one in the green truck Welcome to driving on gravel roads. Hey, he's all loaded. 27 alfalfa bales left. One stack for uh, Minnesota yet, and the hemp fiber's got to go to the processor. Right. Just got hooked up in here to the dash trailer. Ready to pull it out. For those of you that haven't watched last year's spray videos or summer videos, this is built by fiber. They call this the dash. It will fill our sprayer in four minutes. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I got room for two shuttles on the bottom here, two shuttles up top there, two shuttles back there on top of the cage. Plus we can fill the cage with two pallets worth of boxes. It's an awesome system. We're finally getting back to putting these knives on the air drill. Dad finished off the fertilizer knives we're calling, got to, and uh, now we're going through and doing these seed knives. You can see the difference there in old versus new. About a half inch deeper, these new ones are gonna go than the old ones. So being with all of our dry conditions we have this year, that should be uh, probably a necessity to change these. Make sure we get the seed in deep enough to get it started. 
Two bolts, pretty easy to change, just slide them back on. Well, the openers are all on this drill now. We uh, are gonna do some searching on an oil leak up on a hydraulic block yet, and then we need to figure out a way to redo this conveyor. I've been looking for hydraulic cylinders like the other cart, but see that hand winch up there? It's not supposed to be on there. It's got a rack and pinion system that pulls it down and keeps on giving us fits, so. Um, that conveyor, bottom conveyor that comes off the end when it's underneath the truck so you can get it under a semi. But uh, we're gonna fire this tractor up, get it openers up, check for that oil leak, and then we do have to straighten out the end shanks get bent a little bit from turning corners. So grab the skid steer and do that yet. Yeah, I think this drill's ready to go. I lift up on it, I kind of twist it. Tuck it on that bat C chank and I'll try and lift. Yeah, well we used to chain them by the Seedmaster logo to the frame so um, they could bend that arm by itself. Chain but this to there. Kevin, that's a cute uh, toe on your boot there. Like, I didn't want slag in my boot. <laughs> I, cheap, like, I had a hole. <laughs> You know how some days just don't quite go as planned? Well, for the last few hours, we've been dealing with the drain field of a septic system. We're hosting Easter tomorrow. Whoops, guess we'll fix that. It's just, it's not a walking stick, but it's definitely a, a like this. A leaning stick? Yeah. Something happened there and our drain field got plugged up. I don't know if our standpipes 
kind of like broke or settled and broke and then dirt got in there and that plugged up our drain field or what but we snaked it a bunch can't get it broke loose oh well, we got some water shuttles here a two inch pump with a garden hose hooked to it feeding the pressure washer snake tape and pressure washer hose together we're gonna try and soften everything up blast it out and then finally get this thing flushed out Clear water coming, I'd say that's progress. Probably get everything uh, connected back together there and let this hole dry out for a while and then backfill the gravel and be done. This is a lot more fun than using a pump to clean water out of a hole. are glued and we've got rubber couplers to hold them together. We'll let this dry, backfill it, pack it, put gravel around it to support the pipe so it doesn't all happen again. Well you could say that was a crappy deal. Glad that's taken care of now and not in the middle of seeding having to do it or having to pay somebody to do it because uh, that would have got expensive. But uh, don't forget, farm hard, pray harder. See you next video.